All right, uh, this video will be going over the DLC. Um, I've set it up in a in a way where you can take the easy way or you can take the hard way. <laughs> um, but let's just start by importing the actual DLC package into this uh, project. Um, just let it work here. Just import everything. All right, so we have the DLC imported. Uh, it's gonna be in uh, the folder marked DLC one. I, I made it one in case I decide to make more, which I probably will. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, this comes with its own scene as well. I'll, I'll open that and everything is going to load in here. So the DLC comes with uh, a few different accessories and two other presets. We got a uh, very cute plushie. Now uh, that's the example. And then we have the gator dog. Um, so uh, the easy way. Um, I have actually set up a separate effects avatar controller uh, to uh, control toggles of all of the accessories. So if you decided that you wanted to add all the accessories onto one avatar, um, I have made a controller uh, to toggle those and give you a couple of options. Um, however, that is completely optional. You do not need that whatsoever. Um, so uh, if you decided that um, I'm going to hide the example for right now because I'm going to move the gator dog uh, to the origin point, I'm going to use him um, for this tutorial here. So um, let's go into the prefab folder here. So I got accessories and tails. There's only one tail, which is the gator dog tail, um, but we have a few uh, accessories here. Um, let's say I want the collar. I'm going to just click and drag it into the hierarchy. The collar, bandana, actually, um, well, they, they don't really, they can't really, uh, overlap. Eventually I'll make a, a separate collar and bandana duo, but, uh, for now let's just keep the collar, um, glasses and, uh, the septum piercing here. Why not? So um, if um, you don't care about uh, being able to toggle these in the game, you want them on permanently, uh, that's fine, completely fine. Uh, it would be easier if you just went into the Gator Dog and just like how um, we set up the uh, custom pup, where we are going to bind these um, meshes um, onto the bones of the armature. So. Uh, I did hide the example, the example here, but um, just like in um, the other video, um, this avatar is for your reference. So you're gonna be looking at that in case you need to know like which which bone to bind uh, those items to. So uh, the collar is going to be bound to the neck. Let's just go to the neck here. All right, I'm gonna just drag that into, into the neck. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is um, that if you wanted to resize any of these prefabs, and this goes for like the ears, the tails, the hairstyles, whatever, these accessories, uh, this is the part before you bind it um, to the armature. This is where you can edit that because after you bind it, um, you parent it to the armature, uh, you won't be able to like edit the scale or anything. Um, so if you wanted these glasses to be really big for some reason, uh, you would do that uh, before you uh, parented it to the armature. Um, yes, the glasses and the septum will be bound to the head. And that is the easy way. That is the easy way of adding these accessories to your avatar. Uh, from here, you could just uh, 
if you wanted you could uh, build and publish from here and that would be perfectly acceptable um the hard way uh is if you wanted to um use my little effect system here which will give you an additional menu in your avatar 3.0 menu um i've added a bunch of toggles and stuff uh it's pretty neat um if you like are just indecisive or you decide that you like all of them and you want the choice of being able to toggle all the accessories completely fine i understand honestly it's a power move so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add all of them onto the avatar. So first I'm going to drag them into the hierarchy here. Uh, I will say disclaimer that the toggles actually don't work for the plushie items. So for the, the tag, the ear tag and the butt tag, uh, I did not make toggles for those two items. Um, simply because the ear tag is going to be bound to uh, one of the ears and um, I, I can't, there's no way for me to possibly toggle them on all the different ears, unfortunately. Um, so uh, for that reason, I did not make toggles for those two items. Um, but uh, um, I, I, I hope you will forgive me. <laughs> um, okay, so everything else we are going to add onto the avatar. So the ball and the bone are actually going to be uh, parent it to the jaw. The bandana will be going across around the neck again. Uh, the bow tie is going to be um, parented to the chest and the other septum will be on the head as well. I'm just going to double check uh, cross-reference this with the DLC uh, example prefab here just to make sure but I didn't bind these incorrectly. Um, if you find that you are in the game and one of the animations don't work, you probably found... Um, so rude, please. Um, you probably bound the accessory to the wrong bone. So the animation that's trying to play isn't... It, it, it can't find... Uh, the accessory, so it's just uh, doing nothing. So let's see, the bow tie is onto the neck, okay. And okay, I think I bound the septums. I think the septums. Oh no, 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 I did it right, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, so the septums do go onto the head, so this should be good. So what we want to do next is we want to grab the uh, Avatar 2.0 manager that I had you install in the first part of the tutorial series. So we're going to go up to VR Labs, Avatar 3.0 manager. And um, this is going to pop up here. And we're going to click, we're going to select our prefab here, the avatar that we are working on, which is the gator dog in, in this case. And we're going to have this menu uh, pop up here. It kind of looks a little confusing, but all we need to do is go into the effects here. It's going to pull up the effects layer um, that I've made. And we want to add an animator because I've created a, a separate animator that we want to combine onto the one that it's using right now. And I, I named it uh, Merge Me in all caps DLC 1. So we're going to select that. And then all the um, parameters, all the extra parameters that I've made are going to pop up here. And it'll be your choice whether to merge on the current effects layer or to create a new one and merge them together onto the new one. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Um, Maybe I would create a new one in case uh, you mess up, so you don't have to delete the whole package and re-import it. Um, uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's merge on current. I'm just going to do that here, uh, just because it's a tutorial and uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, so that should have merged um, all the parameters together into one effects layer. And we can double check that by going into the SDK. And I'm clicking on the puppy effects here. 
I'm going to our animator tab and we can see that we have all of these extra um, toggles that I've created here. So that should be correct. Uh, the next thing that we should do is we need to um, replace the menu and parameters here. So we're going to go into um, the DLC folder once more. There's an animations uh, folder in the DLC folder. And we're going to go back into the SDK. And we're going to replace the menu and the parameters. They're named accordingly, so you shouldn't have too much trouble figuring it out. So it's DLC puppy main menu and DLC puppy parameters that you just want to replace. And that um, should be it. And um, I'm going to upload this avatar. Oh wait, 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 one more, one more thing, one important thing. We need to hide all of the accessories. So we're just going to select them and then uncheck it here. So we, we want them to start off um, hidden and then the toggle animation will toggle them on. And that is an important uh, part. I can't believe I almost missed. So you definitely want to hide them before you upload the avatar. And I think that's it. Okay. Now we can upload it. And um, I'll actually hop onto VRChat and show you uh, the menu and how it should work. And I will see you there. All right. Uh, wait, let me move. Let me move myself again. Oops. Let me move myself. Um, okay. So we're here in VR chat, and um, as you can see we're all loaded in. We go into the 3.0 menu and see the expressions. You're gonna see these guys, which are already included into the basic um, uh, the basic uh, effects layer. But you're also gonna see the DLC accessories, which is uh, the what we just merged onto um, the uh, our, our effects layer. So if we go into here, we're gonna see a bunch of options. Uh, collar, glasses, bow tie, whatever, whatever. Um, so these are all toggleable here. Well, and they're all working. There's a page two with a bandana. Uh, rainbow flag, of course, the bandana clips into the chest tuft, but we're gonna choose to ignore that right now. Um, we got the bone. Very fun. Um, I gotta say the ball, um, uh, the chomp ball, this is a button, so you have to press and hold it. Alright, and uh, that's about it. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I hope you have fun with your pups.